Good morning. Welcome to the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. I'm Tony Torrance and we are going to tie this morning a depth charge. And this version is going to be one of many that are out there. What we've got is a 5262 size 8, a eighth inch copper bead, and a 3 16 tungsten bead. You can add lead to this fly for depth if you want to. What we're going to do is get a little thread started here first. This has a couple bias that stick out in the front. So you tie those in so they're standing out. One bias and two bias. And just kind of monkey with those a little bit until you get them on the side. And then what we'll do is trim this, put a quick whip finish over this, this bead pushes up against that and makes it stand out. Now it's important to note this bead, the, the copper bead is placed on like any normal bead would go on, the other bead is backwards so that it forces those bias forward. I'm going to bring my thread back here. This uh, dubbing you can use for this is many different kinds. Uh, I'm just using a little hair's ear this morning. Um, guys use squirrel. You can blend whatever colors you like and put Antron or whatever um, floats your boat. And uh, we're just going to keep it pretty simple today. A little ball of Pairs ear dubbing. And then a couple more bias out the back. Okay. There's one by it. And the second one. Um, you can add lead to this if you really want to get this thing down. And this is the point when I would add the lead and then build up the body. Now if you don't want to use lead, what I would recommend using is some uni stretch black just to build this up a little. So I'm just going to start this at the base, just like you would start your thread at the base of the bead and build this body up for the taper that I want. I'm going to just cover it with thread real quick. Cut it off. Uni stretch is a great material if you're trying to shape a fly and you don't want to add lead to it. Okay, so now I've got that. Next is medium copper wire. And I will tie that in here. Okay. More hairs you're dubbing. And we'll just dub this on the thread here and wrap it up the body. Leaving a little bit of space right behind the bead because we got to put a hackle in there and then a little thorax, if you will, in front of the hackle of dubbing. This fly should be big, bulky. And have lots of bugginess to it, so you could even pick out this dubbing. And as you fish it, or fish tear it up a little bit, it just seems to fish even better. We'll put one more little clump right here. I tend to add dubbing a little at a time as opposed to just going hog wild and throwing a ton in there and having too much. And then I'll bring the rib up through here. Okay. Now I'm going to put my hackle on, which I've got a natural partridge, something that has a brown hue to it. And I prep that feather, tying the tip in first, 
curve side down. And then a hackle plier. I'm going to pull these material, these fibers back. Partridge is pretty soft and fragile, so it doesn't take much to um, get it to stand out. There we go. Okay. So my hackle's in there. Next is a little more hair's ear dubbing. A little whip finish. And there you have your depth charge.